Hi, this is Miss Havisham. I'm outside Sheffield Cathedral. So, you look at these. And at the side of that one, you can just see a fish. That represents the fish god of Dagon. And all these others. Quite terrific. I believe are around 500 years old. We're told the Victorian, but they aren't. They're all red brick. They're all very ornate. And I believe these were here after the catastrophe and when people came back to repopulate this country, which was Albion, at the time of the catastrophe, which was in the 1500s, and we take off the one, which was, formerly was an I or a J, for Iazo in the year of our Lord, then it takes us down to the 500s. The country was unable to be populated for about 11 years or so, and then people started to come back, and that's when the Norman invasion took place, I believe. So... This was the parish church. It wasn't a cathedral at the time. It was the parish church and it was later given cathedral status um, in the 1800s. So I believe that now we are in the year 719 due to the removal of 600 years at 1666, taking it to 1066. Then Another 300 years was added on. And then when it got to the early 1800s, another thousand was added on. And that's why we're now told we're in the year 2019, but we're not, it's really 719 or thereabouts. This area in Sheffield was the place where the Earls of Shrewsbury um, presided over and they actually had a family vault in here in the Sheffield Parish Church. In actual fact now the bodies are now missing, uh, there were 13 bodies in that vault and they are now missing and no one knows where they've gone. The graves at the front of the cathedral were removed for road widening, that was in the 1950s, and uh, it's a mystery as to what's happened to the actual remains. And the road was widened again for the various things, including the tram. Now here we have a statue of James Montgomery. He was a famous person who actually was born in Scotland but he actually came to Sheffield and he became a newspaper editor. Also, he wrote hymns and he was a poet. And if you see he's wearing the, the cloak, the, uh, that is an actual, it's not a Roman toga, as I originally thought, it's his druid robes. It's his druid robes and he was a poet. He was a druid poet. He was also the newspaper editor, so he could edit the stories that people were going to read. But obviously, most of the populace of the lower class were illiterate anyway. So, all this area will have had graves underneath. And where that car park is, that will be all, was all originally graves. And so the gravestones have been removed, and now it's now a car park. So this is just a quick look at Sheffield Cathedral. So thank you for watching. Bye.